Well, hello everyone. It's me, Daniel, with Website Candy. I know I've been missing in action for a while, and I'm sorry. I've been busy, okay? Don't be mad. I just... I'm busy. But for everyone that has an iPhone 6S and an iPhone 6S Plus, you know you have the peak and pop feature in regards to you can kind of push down and you can kind of see where you can do little, you know, things on your phone. And it's, it's trial by error. You know, you got to look for the ones that work. YouTube doesn't have one, Twitter has one, and Facebook has one. So when I get inside the Facebook application here, here's a little feature where a friend of mine, has shared you know more than seven photos at a time within her little feed here and I could actually click the photo and then I can scroll up and I can look at each individual photo or I can actually click the photo right here and I can slide to the right and left there but you know me being lazy no nah, I'm actually not lazy I actually went and got the newest phone for to use the newest features so if I'm just pressing down here on that first photo and my thumb is not directly over this photo. My thumb is a little bit lower than the photo. But as I slide my thumb to the right and left, I can see all the different photos in a great little, you know, design where I get focused to my photos. Now, here's this photo right here. I want to like this photo. What I can do is, actually, I'm messing up here. Let me um, get it going here. You know, nothing ever works the way it's supposed to. So I want to take this photo. Actually, you cannot do it. I actually, I'm sorry. You cannot do it with the multiple photos. But here's another photo of one of my friends here. And I'm going to push in. And she didn't have any other photos. I'm scrolling to the right and left. But I'm going to push up. Now I can say I can like it. I can comment. I can share. I can report. And if you guys knew her the way I knew her, I would be reporting this photo. So, um... Those are some of the cool features in the iPhone 6S that you can use. Um, it's pretty cool. I mean, a lot of times, you know, uh, you want to use your phone with um, one hand versus two hands. And that's what that feature is for. Not while driving, but, you know, just using it with one hand versus two. And another thing you can also do, here's the last tip. When I press down and I'm scrolling through these photos and I want to give focus and I want to read the comments on this particular photo I'm just going to press a little bit harder and it's going to pop all the way through so now I can see it as normal and I can start all over if I want to here's this photo I want to press a little harder it snaps into place there and I can leave a comment share like it do whatever I want to do so let me know if this video was helpful to you this only works on the iPhone 6s and the 6s plus all right so talk to you guys later goodbye now